When we're facing crises like this, especially when it's as deadly as this is, it certainly will challenge some people to question belief itself, question faith, question God's existence. For others, it reminds them of the gift and value of human life, and they find themselves wanting to reconnect even more completely with God. When the diocese came out and said, no, you can't do public services starting this Saturday evening because of this new virus, we knew we were gonna to have to find a way to continue to offer services. Things always are different in the world we live in. So we have a choice, right? We can just let things happen to us and accept the consequences, or we can try and make a difference in the world we're in. You know, am I scared? Yeah. Am I worried about where this is going? Absolutely. Am I worried about my own health and my family? Sure. But do I just want to sit and do nothing and let it happen to me? No. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try and do something. Church is absolutely an important social link in society. It's church at its core is about relationships. Whether it's relationships with each other or relationships with God, relationship is the key to being church. It's imperative for us to try and find ways to keep those connections, especially for the people who are most vulnerable. Friday afternoon, we got the word that we were not able to have public services. Okay, uh, we gotta do this and we have to figure it out fast. I just used my iPhone and an iPad. It worked. All right, here we go, lights. Do a countdown from five, silent one, two. Five, four, three. An important part of all of our prayer has also been our connection to each other. And the fact that we can't be together doing this is probably the one thing that hurts the most. Something like live streaming, there's many churches that do it. It's not like this is a brand new, different idea, but how to do it is the issue, right? How can we do it in a way that is effective and works? My brothers and sisters pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable. The Mass is something that should be done together. You are really talking and responding with each other and offering that prayer to God. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's take a moment then and offer each other some sign of our Lord's peace. It's strange to not be able to have the congregation there. You, you really miss that part. The fact that we're trying to keep ourselves connected together is going to be important. Behold him who takes away the sins. It's challenging, yes. But I think if we make our efforts and do what we need to do to keep people connected, if we take charge in the situation, I really think we'll come out stronger as a parish and school family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks. Thanks be to God. I never would have expected something like the virus situation that we're facing now. It's here. So uh, whatever happens, we've got to decide. And, and I want to be a part of that, not someone sitting back either hiding or not being willing to do something. And right now, what we're facing is something that people need to know God is with them.